Hi guys and ladies, I bought some low carb tortillas uh, before I knew what I was going to do with them. I have to use them up. Well, I thought of making fish tacos, a new way. There are hundreds of ways. So yesterday I went out to cull some small bass for the recipe. Take a look. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. <laughs> nice one meaning nice for eating. Not that big, but perfect. This is the size that we call under 12 inches. Oh, this is perfect for our recipe. Here's all I'm using today. It's a creature bait. It's a crawdad. Crawdads is actually the name of it. Crawdads with a Z. A Z man made. little guy. It had been a long, long time. There's a point of too small. Right. This one's going in the frying pan. Oh, <laughs> just barely a keeper. <clears throat> we need to call these little ones. Embarrassing. You know, my friends are catching big fish and I'm catching these little sardines. But we have to call. Let's let's get them out. Mm. Got one. All right. That's a little better. And that's going to do it because I've got plenty for this taco recipe. Let's get back in the house and fillet these guys. And tomorrow it's tacos. Fishing didn't blow me away yesterday, but the wind almost did. Still, we managed to cull enough small bass to get us over a pound of these nice fillets. Now there'll be more food to go around for the rest of the bass to grow big on. Let's start on those tacos. What I need to do is chop, or dice, three plum tomatoes, two of them for the pico de gallo. Yeah, we're making pico de gallo again and one of them for the guacamole.
I've got two jalapeno peppers here. They're huge. One of these is for the pico de gallo and the other for the guacamole. This is a serrated grapefruit spoon. I use this thing for everything except maybe grapefruits. Now I'm just taking out the seeds and veins. Look how nice this works. I have half of a red onion here, or purple onion if you will. I'm going to use half of it in the pico de gallo and again half in the guacamole. I need cilantro both for the pico de gallo and for the guacamole, so let's start chopping. I've got about three tablespoons in each of these piles. Here's about a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Here's a half of a lime, the juice. Here's a teaspoon of chopped garlic. From the jar, it's easier. Now let's just stir it real well and we're done. Let's taste a little. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it. Mm. Very refreshing. We finished the pico de gallo and we did half the guacamole. I don't want to finish the guacamole because, you know, guacamole goes bad fast. So we'll, we'll delay that and we'll get on with the fish. We have to make sort of like a spice blend, a blackening for our fish, almost a blackening. Here's a teaspoon and a half of smoked pep paprika, if I could get it out. Now, a half teaspoon of cumin. So it's that time again, because I have to use a half teaspoon of thyme. Let's put in a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, I'm going to wing this, because the recipe doesn't say. Let's use about a teaspoon of kosher salt. Let's mix this up. Now let's pour it in this handy shaker device. Call me a nut, but I have to spray this broiling pan. And I don't want to do it indoors. Grease flies everywhere. I'm going to totally disregard, disobey, and violate the directions here. I'm going to sprinkle the seasoning on only one side, the directions say too, but the fish is so thin. Maybe I added too much salt. I should have probably started with a half teaspoon. Well, we'll see. It's a little salty, that stuff. I'm going to put these under the broiler now for like five minutes, and let's see if they cook in that time. Right up under the broiler. Someday, I'll get an oven with a light. Let's see what's going on. Looking really good. Five minutes. They look good. They look really nice. I'm going to see if they flake easily with a fork. Oh, this is delicious. It is <clears throat> not, not too salty. It's just great. Mm. The directions say to flake the fish and break into chunks. Well, which is it? Flaking or chunking? I don't know these directions. Now it's back to our guacamole. Oh, it looks good. Yay. Would you believe it? I'm using the grapefruit spoon again. This thing is so versatile. Oh, this mashes up so nicely. Let's add a half teaspoon of salt. Do you remember our cilantro and onions? Well, I do. How about our jalapenos and tomatoes? Oh, yeah. This is great. I almost forgot. Lime juice. Oh, dear. Hurry, hurry. Uh, whoever invented guacamole needs an award. Posthumous, I suppose. Let me taste this. Mmm. Home run. Oh, oh, mmm. You can't fail with guacamole. It's so good. This is the final act. I put some oil in the pan and I'm going to fry tortillas. Low carb tortillas are much tastier when they're fried. About 30 seconds on each side, maybe 20. 
you have to keep bursting these bubbles. Now onto a wad of paper towels. Now with another wad, we dab it. A little dab will do you. Old commercial. Now we're just going to bend it in half. And we have our taco. Let's put it in a taco holder. While I'm frying up these tacos, I ought to let you all know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic Miss Lulu Cheeks is about to join me here for dinner tonight. And I'm, I'm thrilled. Uh, but I should curb my exuberance. You see, we've been seeing each other for eons. Yet she never seems to mention marriage. And I need to get her thinking about matrimony. Let's just make up a taco. Let's put a couple tablespoons of our good fish in there. How about a nice tablespoon of pico de gallo? And we'll finish it off with a beautiful dollop of guacamole. Oh, that looks so good already. Here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me at dinner tonight here in my dingy, dowdy, double, double wide. And you had a chance to gleefully gorge on my fish tacos with pico de gallo and guacamole. And I'm really anxious to find out what you thought of them. Every single part of that meal was delicious. Each thing was prepared perfectly and all the tastes were wonderful. The fish was very good. Yeah. The uh, guacamole, of course, I always love guacamole and, and yours was delicious. Mm -hmm. And the pico de gallo had lovely cilantro and onion flavor. Mm -hmm. I really, I, like I loved every bit of it. Thank you. <laughs> I loaded up the onion, but it was good. No, that's okay. Miss Cheeks? Oh, I can say uh, Lulu now. Yes. Uh, I thought we'd watch a couple of movies tonight. I, I have Father of the Bride, uh, my best friend's wedding, and my big fat Greek wedding. Don't you love wedding movies? Well, actually, I like watching them in reverse. Reverse? Uh, why reverse? Um, I like seeing the bride leave the church a free woman. Can I have a hug?